In this video, we'll take a closer look at our Blazor combo box. In a previous video, we showed you how to get started by adding the combo box and making some adjustments. Now we'll look at two more features, multiple columns and cascade lists. The combo box component can display data across multiple columns. I've already configured a simple combo box that shows a staff list. Now I'm going to add columns to the combo box. I add several DX list editor column objects to the markup and use the field name property to bind them to data source fields. Let's take a look at this in the browser. I can also customize columns. I specify a width for the ID column, change the position of the first name and last name column, hide the department column, and specify custom captions for the first name and last name columns. Now the drop-down list displays only three columns. The department column is hidden, but the editor's value still includes a department. To format the edit box's value, I can specify the pattern using the edit format property. I specify a visible columns index and curly braces. This expression means that the editor value includes values of the following columns, last name, whose visible index is one, and first name, whose visible index is two. Let's take a look at these changes. Now I'll demonstrate how to create cascade combo boxes when one combo box contains values based on the user selection in another combo box. For example, we'll implement two combo boxes, country and city. When a user selects a country, the city combo box is automatically populated with corresponding cities. I've already prepared sample data. There are country and city types that include a set of properties. The country city class has methods that retrieve a list of countries and a list of cities. I also created the following fields, countries, current country cities, current country, and current city. The on initialized method will be invoked when combo box components are initialized and the selected country changed method will handle changes in selected values. Now let's configure combo boxes. I add a DX combo box that displays countries. Specify a data source, the combo box's selected value, and the data source field that provides a text for a combo box item. The second combo box displays current country cities. As you can see, the combo boxes display countries and cities. When Germany is selected, the second combo box displays Berlin, Munich, and Hamburg. However, when I select another country, the city list doesn't change. To respond to the selected item change, I need to handle the value changed event. Now the cascade combo boxes work as expected. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this look at our Blazor combo box. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.